Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibe for Sunday, July 15th. If you're in another country and it's already the 16th, then this reading is still for you. It's just, you know, whenever, whenever it resonates, these readings are pretty much timeless. Okay, so this is what I am picking up on today. If it feels right, then it's right. If it feels wrong, then it's wrong. Okay, I am going to get this zoomed in here in just a moment. Um, I'm going to get one of these. I'm going to get it right now before we start in, just for the heck of it. We do have the Ace of Cups, so that's pretty awesome. Something is happening very, very quickly. Somebody is deciding to take action. Uh, the, the, the course of life is changing. There's a change of course. We have the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Something is changing very, very quickly. The Wheel of Fortune is right underneath the, the Knight of Wands. So somebody is, somebody is taking action. It's like, time to go. Time to go. Um, the truth is coming out, okay? Something is being revealed. We have the Seven of Swords reversed underneath that Ace of Cups. So... Somebody is, is uh, telling the truth. Somebody is, or receiving the truth somehow. Getting caught. Maybe getting caught in love. <laughs> you know, I didn't, I didn't want to fall in love, but I guess I am in love. Something like that. Um, okay, so that's at the beginning. Towards the end, there are all these cards are reversed. Somebody has invested in something that didn't come to fruition. Uh not getting what they deserve you know with the six of pentacles reversed maybe there was a rejection of an offer somebody has rejected something uh we have temperance reversed there's been uh, a lack of peace and harmony in a situation maybe some some resent and some bitterness as well with the queen of swords reversed somebody has been resentful and bitter angry and caused a little bit of chaos in their life because when you live out of that vibration it brings chaos in so i think some sort of some sort of um inner animosity has brought somebody backwards interesting because it starts out it starts out with somebody taking action in regards to love There's been a lot of fighting. There's been some family feuds. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So I feel like there's somebody that it, that it could be moving away, leaving a, leaving a home to go after their love, to go find true love. Maybe they're leaving a situation that is no longer fruitful. You know, there's no more growth there. It was one they were in a situation where there was no equality, there was no give and take. They invested quite some time in this home or this relationship, but. No matter what they do, there's no peace and harmony. No matter what they do, there's there's no escaping the reality of that. You know, this cannot be fixed. There is too much chaos. There's too much anger. There's too much fighting. 
So it feels it feels as though somebody decides to accept the truth. They say the truth. I want love. I'm going. I'm going to find love. Anyway, I'm going to. Well, I guess it's pretty well. It's the way it's going to be, huh? I think somebody is rejecting an offer to stay. I don't, I can't stay. I can't stay here. There's no growth. This is unrealistic. It's been dissatisfying. You know, somebody could have been trying to escape reality with addictions or whatever to get through it. But now it's like, you know what? I can't, I can't fight about this. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to be involved in your bitterness. There's somebody in this dynamic, one person it looks like, that has been very bitter and angry and upset. And it's like, it's caused a lot of chaos and um, disharmony within the relationship. So I feel like somebody decides to walk away. They decide, you know what, I have to accept the truth. I can't keep the mask on. It's time. It's time for this change. So now there's this change, of course, which is the Wheel of Fortune. Things are destined to change at the right time. So I feel like somebody takes the steps that they need to take to get out. Because you notice this knight is getting out of this situation. He's walking away towards the soulmate. Towards the real soulmate. See, he's walking away. So I feel like somebody is deciding to leave a situation where there's too much fighting, there's too much arguing, there's too much discontent. Um... And they don't want to hurt. I don't want to hurt anymore. All I want is love. I'm headed towards love and that's where I'm going. So yeah, I feel like today is a day of, 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 of realizing that there's, there's no future path here. This is unrealistic. It's dissatisfying. Uh, I'm never going to get what I want. I'm never going to get what I deserve here. But, you know, this, this is just... There, there's no equality. There's no equal give and take. Somebody's in a one-sided situation where they can't win. And they come to the conclusion, you know what, there's, this is too much. This is, there's extremes. There's back and forth. There's extremes. There's like one minute everything is good and the very next minute it's like rock bottom. And then it's good again and it's rock bottom. I mean, that's the, my daughter was explaining to me last night, the cycle of abuse. And that's kind of like what this is. So, you know, somebody is, is involved in a situation where it's just no longer realistic. And they're taking the, the steps to get out and go after the real soulmate. So, we're going to get a couple of clarifiers here. I want a clarifier on this, this Ace of Cups. This is a this is a hand, this is the hand of God or your higher power uh, offering you this new opportunity for love and don't forget that this soulmate differs from your usual type and expectations it's not who you think it is okay it's not so this guy is heading out of this situation that is so chaotic and argumentative towards you know, something a lot more positive. And it's meant to be. This is meant to happen. This is a completion. The Wheel of Fortune is a completion of a cycle. One cycle, one chapter, one phase of your life is over. It's done. And now it's time to begin another one. You see, he's out. He's moving out. So keep in mind that there's a there's somebody, if you were, whatever the situation is to you, there's there's somebody that is better suited for you. But you got to keep positive. you got to remain positive. And you have to take the mask off. Somebody is taking the mask off. They are. The truth is coming out. It could be coming, you know, through inner clarity or, you know, somebody else could be. Oh, yes. Okay. So there's a death. There's an ending. There's a completion here. Okay. So there's a completion of a situation, a release, a transition that allows a wonderful new beginning. Mm 
with endings bring new beginnings. Somebody is leaving. Because over here, they have been, they've been feeling incomplete. They've been feeling empty and lost. Trying to escape this, the reality, okay, with the Seven of Pentacles and the Temperance both reversed. Somebody has been trying to escape the reality of this ending that needed to happen. You know, they didn't want to believe it. They, didn't, they wanted to do whatever they could do to make it work, but... There's too much bitterness. There's too much resent. If you stay in a situation that you don't really want to be in, it does breed resent because it's not fulfilling. So your resent grows and grows and grows and grows. And with the Queen of Swords reverse, somebody is very resentful for the time that they have wasted in a relationship that doesn't have any more growth. It's caused a lot of loss for them, whether it's internal loss, financial loss, um... Loss of self, okay? There's, there's a feeling of emptiness over here in this, re, this situation, which somebody has finally decided to leave and end. I got to end it and go find the, the soulmate, that, the suitor that's meant for me. I need to take action at this point. So I feel like there's been a lot of extremes back and forth, up and down. Um, somebody's been trying to ignore that this was over, but they can't ignore it any longer. Somebody is is deciding that they can't they can't bring harmony to this anymore. There's no balance. There's no way to bring balance back to this. There's it's beyond repair. This is beyond repair. I have to leave this home. I need to leave this environment. To go find wish fulfillment. It's a renewal. It's somebody has decided that they need to protect themselves. to find peace of mind. So I feel as though somebody is taking steps to end a situation where there is, there's just way too much dissatisfaction. I'm ready for wish fulfillment. I have hope that there's something more. And so therefore I need to let this end Because there's no victory and success staying here. Somebody is headed towards wish fulfillment by leaving a situation they are. So I'm not sure who this reading is for, but I feel like somebody has decided to reject an offer to stay. It's time for me to release, transition, and go after love. I'm ready for love. And they take action. I think the decision is like, you know what, I'm done. I'm, I'm leaving. Goodbye. I'm ready for my new chapter. I'm ready for my new phase. I'm ready for my new, new life. And I'm not looking back. Now, this person, if you are single and you have already left, could be coming into your life very, very quickly. Okay? Um, for what, some of you, you still have to take the step. The step hasn't been taken. So for some of you, you still have to take the step. Remember, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Your soulmate is not who you think it is. Ooh. Ooh. Grief. Grief. Okay, and this goes right along with the death card. It is. Somebody is... Well, you know, I'm almost speechless here. Um, I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. There will be a period of grief. There will. But that's okay. It's a normal process. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Somebody is headed down a new path. Towards a new life. That, that is going to be a lot more fulfilling. A lot more, a lot more. I mean, a lot more fulfilling. A lot. There's going to be a lot more hope. There's going to be a lot more serenity and peace. Probably some forgiveness too, you know, because it feels as though that's what needs to happen. Forgiveness needs to happen for this lesson that was learned, even though it was hurtful. Friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. You take that however you want it. And at the bottom of this deck, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. So I feel as though today is a day of somebody leaving a situation that there is no more growth. It has left them feeling incomplete and alone and dissatisfied. And they perhaps, whether they leave or they make the decision to leave today, Somebody is deciding to end something so that they can go towards their true love. Or so that they can be loved. This could be an act of self-love. Somebody is taking action to remove themselves from a situation that is too argumentative, too not compatible, one-sided. back and forth a lot of uh, financial issues arguing about the money back and forth I just don't want to be here anymore I'd rather go through this grief to find my ultimate happiness so yeah that's what today is about today is about somebody realizing that something is over taking the plunge getting out goodbye After stalling and putting in every amount of effort that they could to make it work. And that's what I have. Talk to you later.